Hello everyone, it's Laurie again. I want to show you this recent project that I created. Um, I did this for my guest designer spot over at minialbumscraps.ning and if you've never been over there, stop on by. It's a great group. So this is my spring-inspired project um, for this week. I'm going to do my best to put together a tutorial on how we make this, and uh, I will get that done. It'll probably be done on Wednesday. But anyways, this is my project. This is a box that I've made into like a birdhouse and I'll show more details after but it is also a mini album and that it's not decorated I have to add all the embellishments so the covers to the mini album are actually the roof and this is made from a priority box that I cut down that's the inside so priority boxes are free at the post office so that's what I made it from. So let me put the roof back on. I'm going to decorate this part too. But this is the front with the bird. And around here, the hole, I have a, um, I think this is Cane Company, this butterfly right here. And this is a frame from uh, Making Memories. And I glued a stick that I found out in the yard and attached the bird and I just have an assortment of prima flowers and leaves and some ferns and uh, cane company butterflies and the fencing is from a kick cricket cartridge and I didn't bring the name up so I don't know and I have a bumblebee which is from Jolie's that I attached to a piece of wire right there and I made a vine out of cardstock and I inked it and glued my flowers on. Some more prim flowers. So but it was it's a spring spring themed project. Let's see then this lifts up. Let me go back a little bit. Oops, sorry ladies. Let me go back. Hmm. Alright, and this is the cover of the and this is the other side. I have an embossed butterfly down here. And just, you know, it's some handmade roses down here. Prima. And this is the other side. And I did some grass. So I was running out of flowers. So I did some grass. Another bumblebee there. So that is that, um, and then this is the album, and when you open it, this I use Mariposa paper, and this has a large photo mat that uh, inserts in it. This is just a large pocket. And basically all the pages are the same. Here's another one that I'll have to, and this opens up, and there's a journaling spot here, and journaling there, if I choose, and I could put photos on the inside. So, it slips right in there, and all of these pages open up. It's a flap type album that I made and this, uh, this size I think is 9 by 6 I believe is the size of the pages and this again it flips open this is lifts up and I can just want to make it more three dimensional and this, I love this page but as I said, I've got to continue to decorate it. It's another flap. And 
believe I should hopefully have the rest of this done this week. So when I do the tutorial, I'll be able to show you the whole completed project. And then there's that. Oh, I thought that was the end of this again is another long pocket. I love the Mariposa pages. Paper, rather. So there's lots of room for lots of photos because the book is so, so big. So, and there you go, ladies. That is the altered priority box. And I hope that you'll join me and watch the tutorial on how I made this. Thanks again for looking. Bye now.